Hello, Internet. Today I thought I'd share this one little tiny trick uh, that I uh, do sometimes to double or triple or quadruple the frame rate. So right now, as you can see, we have about 100 FPS. So let's go ahead and close this real quick. And um, I think I accidentally closed the afterburner. So let's run for mark just for the sake of the demonstration. So there's Farmark, and Farmark is now running at 245, 212, uh, 230. You can see it, it jumps all over the place. And if we were to run, let's say, Heaven, let's see what kind of frame rate are we going to get. And uh, also, if we were to look at the history of our uh, power consumption here, the power limiting, reasons you can see that it's all over the place it complains about the voltage ref uh, reliability all sorts of stuff and you can see that we got about 170 80 drops to oh it just dropped to 40 35 frames whatever so the reason why that's happening is there's a conflict uh, of a driver it's, um, it's hard to tell uh, sometimes the uh, sometimes uh, doing the cleaning install does not help. So Windows 10, if you if you're on Windows 10 or maybe 11 as well or maybe earlier, something happens with the driver, and so all you gotta do is you have to disable the HDMI sound of the GPU itself, so that you will not be utilizing the sound coming out of the graphics card but rather uh, use the sound output of your motherboard or maybe you have a dedicated sound card, I don't know. With that said, let's, let's look at the frame rate. So 600, almost 600, 550, 540, very steady. And if we open up the heaven, repeat the exact same process. Just one second there. Move that over there. And there we go. 180, 179 consistent frame rate. So you can see the downside of this uh, method is that we're losing an audio output. And so my guess is that the reason why that's happening is because the, the driver that I have installed currently on my motherboard is not... Uh, uh, GPU manufacturer specific. Uh, so like right now I have an MSI card, but my drivers came from my founder's edition and you would think that the drivers are the same, but sometimes they're not. Like 99.9% .9 they are, but there's this 1% that sometimes causes this problem. And uh, hopefully uh, this video shows you how to resolve that problem, how not to panic and set your card out for repair. So. Thank you for watching. Uh, and also, um, as you can see, while we were doing those testings, the TDP were limited by the total power, which is exactly how it should be. Um, otherwise, it would be all over the place and you'll be panicking. So don't panic. Watch my videos, stick around, and I'll show you more tips and tricks. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.